Toronto, Ontario native and Canada's queen of R&B, Julie A Black. national conversation has been ignited by Canadian R&B singer Julie Black's performance of the Canadian National Anthem, which she sang on center court at Sunday's NBA All-Star Game. A home on a native land. Black swapped out the words our home and native land to our home on native land. The NBA All-Star Games has been around for a long time. In 2018, we had the, 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 the you know, equality of gender that was brought in. Uh, so we sing in all of us command. Um, but there's been a lot happening over the last three years. And as it pertains to, you know, indigenous peoples and what has happened and what should be happening in conversations and what hasn't happened in truth and reconciliation. But I realized that it's it's truth. It's, it's the exact truth. And so when you tell the truth, then you really need no proof but to say what it is. Online, the public response has been varied from people saying no single person should be able to change the anthem to support for Black's acknowledgement of Canadian history to accusations Black was being unnecessarily divisive. Black has also gotten some direct feedback. The right people, to me, are talking. And I'm talking about students you know, children, adults, people slipping into my DM saying, on behalf of Inuit people, on behalf of the Métis community, on behalf of Algon Algonquin, like I'm getting it all today. I'm like, yes, that means everything hearing from somebody's grandfather. That means more than Trudeau calling me right now to be open. And so there's things happening on the ground level and small changes become big changes. And that's what's necessary right now. Through national truth and reconciliation efforts, more Canadians are becoming aware of the harmful impacts colonization has had on Indigenous people in Canada for generations. Black says her own understanding has also evolved. And as an artist, I have an opportunity to be an activist. You know, at the end of the day, there's a, a global conversation happening about something that needs to change. And I'm not talking about the lyric in an anthem. I'm talking about listening, learning, and taking action. I'm talking about empowering and moving forward and elevating Indigenous rights, Indigenous peoples, Indigenous leaders, you know, Indigenous children. Like, come on. Like, this, is, this isn't some joke. This is real life living, breathing, bleeding, crying, emoting, people and so if that's not enough for us to take a take a step back and say hey if not now when then everyone else is just sit down because it doesn't make any sense to me for city news i'm stella cuisto